Good evening. Welcome to Trinity Lutheran Church and our service of Compton, or evening prayer. I'm Pastor Keith Spencer, and we have with us our three musicians, Eileen Solar, Piper Spencer, and Tina Hines. We invite you to take this time to just breathe. It's midway through the week. It's another day full of news, both good and bad, a day full of frustrations and joys. But all we have in our life, we take it now before the Lord. We ask that the Lord Almighty grant us a peaceful night and a perfect end of the day. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the one God who is present, who gives life, who calls into existence the things that do not exist. If you were to keep watch over sins, O Lord, who could stand? Yet with you is forgiveness, and so we confess. Gracious God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have turned away from you knowingly and unknowingly. We have wandered from your resurrection life. We have strayed from your love for all people. Turn us back to you, O God. Give us new hearts and right spirits that we may find what is pleasing to you and dwell in your house forever. Amen. My friends, receive the good news. God turns to you in love. I will put my spirit within you and you shall live, says our God. All your sin is forgiven in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the free and abounding gift of God's grace for you. Amen.
A reading from Psalm 116. I love the Lord, who has heard my voice and listened to my supplication. For the Lord has given ear to me whenever I called. The cords of death entangled me. The anguish of the grave came upon me. I came to grief and sorrow. And then I called upon the name of the Lord. O oh Lord, I pray you, save my life. How shall I repay the Lord for all the good things God has done for me? I will lift the cup of salvation and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord in the presence of all God's people. Precious in your sight, O oh Lord, is the death of your servants. Lord, truly, I am your servant. I am your servant, the child of your handmaid. You have freed me from my bonds. I will offer you the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call upon the name of the Lord. I will fulfill my vows to the Lord. I will fulfill my vows in the presence of all God's people, in the courts of the Lord's house, in the midst of you, O Jerusalem. Alleluia. Our second reading this evening comes from 1 Peter. If you invoke as father the one who judges all people impartially according to their deeds, live in reverent fear during the time of your exile. You know that you were ransomed from the futile ways inherited from your ancestors, not with perishable things like silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, that like of a lamb without defect or blemish, Christ was destined before the foundation of the world, but was revealed at the end of the ages for your sake. Through Christ you have come to trust in God, who raised him from the dead and gave him glory, so that your faith and hope are set in God. Now that you have been purified your souls by your obedience to the truth, so that you have genuine mutual love, love one another deeply from the heart. You have been born anew, not of the perishable, but of imperishable seed, through the living and enduring word of God. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Oh, yeah. 
Let us pray. O oh God, our healer, show your compassion for the whole human family that is in turmoil and burdened with illness and with fear. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Come to our aid as the coronavirus spreads globally. Heal those who are sick. Support and protect their families and friends from being infected. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Grant us your spirit of love and self-discipline so that we may come together, working to control and eliminate the coronavirus. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Make us vigilant, attentive, and proactive in the eradication of all diseases that creates suffering and often result in death for many people. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Heal our self-centeredness and indifference that makes us only worry when the virus threatens us. Open our ways beyond timidity and fear that too easily ignore our neighbor. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Strengthen and encourage those in public health services and in the medical profession, caregivers, nurses, attendants, doctors, all who commit themselves to caring for the sick and their families. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Inspire, give insight and hope to all researchers focused on developing a vaccine. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Sustain all workers and business owners who suffer loss of livelihood due to the shutdown, quarantines, closed borders, and other restrictions. Protect and guard all those who must travel. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Guide the leaders of the nations that they speak the truth Halt the spread of misinformation and act with justice so that all your family may know true healing. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Heal our world, heal our bodies, strengthen our hearts and our minds, and in the midst of turmoil, give us hope and peace. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Hold in your gentle embrace all who have died and all who will die this day. Comfort their loved ones in their despair. Hear our cry, O oh God, and listen to our prayer. Remember all your family, the entire human race, and all your creation in your love, O oh Lord. For this and for all things we entrust in your keeping, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In you, Lord, I have taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me and be my stronghold. For the sake of your name, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net they have secretly set for me. For you are my tower of strength. And into your hands I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me. O Lord, O God of truth, let us then pray as the Lord taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.
be genuine. Hate what is evil and hold fast to what is good. Love one another with mutual affection. Outdo one another in the showing of honor. Do not lag in zeal, be ardent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in suffering, persevere in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, extend hospitality to strangers. Live in harmony with one another. Do not be haughty, but associate with the lowly. Do not claim to be wiser than you are. Do not repay anyone evil for evil. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave room for the wrath of God. If your enemies are hungry, feed them. If they are thirsty, give them something to drink. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Guide us waking, O Lord, and guard us sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. My friends, let us bless the Lord. May the Almighty, merciful Lord, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless us and keep us this night and always. Amen. Amen. My friends, let us go in peace, rest well, be safe, love God and neighbor. Amen.